everybody. My name is Victor Lima and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today, we will be discussing about microservices. The term microservices has become really popular over the years. But what are microservices? Basically, microservices are a new style of software architecture. As the name suggests, microservices refers to small services. For a large implementation, this means breaking the system into really small independent services. Microservices approach is getting more and more popular with large and complex applications, which require changes at regular intervals. Microservices approach allows this type of changes with easy. In short, the microservices architecture is an approach that develops a single application as a suite of small services, each running its own process and functionality and communicating with the other services that are part of the suite. To begin to explain the microservices architectures in details, we need to compare it to monolithic architecture. So, what is monolithic architecture? Monolithic is the inverse of microservices. That's why a software that was developed following the monolithic standard is usually formed from just one unit. For instance, for a long time, Netflix had its entire system in just one .war file. And nowadays, a software organized in this way is hard to scale. It's hard to coordinate teams that build, deploy, and maintain a single software component. One of the solutions to this problem, and it comes with benefits, is to split the monolithic software into microservices so that the teams are able to specialize in a few smaller modules and autonomous and isolated software components that can be versioned, updated, and deployed without interfering with the rest of the system of the company. A good example to represent a real use of microservices is a large online store. In an online store, you have user interface, product catalog, processing orders, managing customer's account, and so on. In a microservices architecture, each of these tasks will be divided into smaller services, into smaller pieces of software. And if you want, each of these services can be divided in very small and simple services. An application organized in this way is very easy to scale, to update, and to deploy. In short, it's a fact that the natural trend for new high-tech companies such as Amazon or Netflix is building their new software using microservices approach, which is the ideal scenario. They get a huge advantage of microservices-oriented software in order to scale up their new products without a big effort. So, that's it! Do you want me to cover more topics related to microservices? Let me know in the comment sections below. Thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel. We make new videos 6 days a week. Bye bye!